This is Alan Bush with the Daily Financial Forecast for Tuesday, September 10th. Starting out with the stock index futures, we are seeing some lower prices. In fact, all of the financial markets to one degree or another are being affected by ideas that the ECB, the European Central Bank, at their meeting this Thursday may not be quite as aggressively easing credit as some had anticipated several weeks ago. So that hurting the stock index futures. Longer term though, it still appears that prices are higher as central banks around the world are still likely to lower interest rates. Moving over to the currencies, seeing the euro currency basically holding uh, steady against the dollar. Uh, we do have that meeting on Thursday. Uh, you would think that that would be supportive to the euro currency, which so far it has not been, with some gains coming into the British pound as the unemployment rate in the UK remaining at a 45 year low. Interest rate markets under some pressure with the ongoing better feeling about the US China trade situation. Also the prospects of a less easy ECB also putting some pressure on the credit markets. But longer term, central banks around the world will remain accommodative to one degree or another and that suggests the main trend is still higher for the credit market futures. Also for the gold and silver with gold a little bit lower, uh, lower rates supportive there, not to mention the geopolitical issues. One standout performer today though is the silver market. That actually is higher on today at a time when it, you would think that it would be lower. So silver remains very attractive, of course so does gold, but right now silver is outperforming the gold market, both of these precious metals though are likely to work higher longer term. So good trading everyone. And once again, remember, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland.